Hey guys, I got um X Chan with Doom Lords Power to the People Colonel. Uh, I'm going to About Settings. It's Doom Lords version S overclock to 1.2 gigahertz megahertz. I mean, I got 12.28 megahertz uh, with the performance governor very fast you can see it's still uncapped you get around 55 54 a few seconds ago I just got 60 but it was only for like half a second <laughs> that's not possible on our phone I believe but anyways um, checking out the performance it's really fast and I'm just gonna benchmark a few things for y'all. Starting with Smart Benchmark. Now this is the best benchmark since you know I play a lot of games. This is the best benchmarks who do. So let's press run Smart Bench. What it does is it tests the CPU and the gaming score. Now gaming is probably the most important thing that you want on the phone. CPU is good, but it doesn't really show the speed. It's the gaming score that you really want. And a good gaming score, well, for a high end phone, a good gaming score is about 1100. Now, for a phone like us, on our stock kernel, uh, our gaming score was always like 1000, maybe 990, never higher. So it's pretty good to see like all the animations coming up like that. Display index scores and a good productivity. All right, it's in. I got a 1565 for the top green one. That's the productivity index. It's really good. And for the gaming score, I got an 1147. So, ours is pretty much up there with, like, let's say, the Desire HD, something like that. So, it's really good for games. Uh, it's fast. So, now let's do Limpack. Here it is. We're in a single thread. Well, I should get up in the 40s. Yep, 41. On first run, uh oh, the dreaded white led of death. See, um, that's what happens when you leave your phone at too high a frequency, like the 1228 megahertz. It can't handle that. That's my first white led of death. I'm surprised it happened during the video. But it is very stable. It's just you can't leave it at that high of a frequency for so long. So let your phone reboot. But it should be fine playing games though. Like when you're running benchmarks like that then that's less likely to happen, especially when back. You see this new logo that I do not put in there. And then I do Neo Core next. I'm still going to leave it at 1.2 megahertz, uh, just so I can finish this benchmark. One more benchmark on here, so like my phone's going to blow it. But if you're playing games, yeah, put it on 1.2 megahertz. It's not going to hurt. All right, it's done loading up. Now, uh, people who are saying they're getting like 26 frames per second, you have to wait for set CPU to start. You can't just do that um, at the beginning because this happens. See, you have to wait till it says like, um, set CPU has 
being granted from right there. Like everything you have to start at setup, you have to make sure that starts. And then once that starts, bam. All right, so I'm gonna do my benchmarks now. Let me redo this. All right. So we did Smart Bench, got a great gaming score. Limpack got about a 41, 42 I mean. The um, highest I've gotten is 44. And Neocore. Now, usually this doesn't change much. Just because like, this is more of a system thing. This usually won't change much at all. Um, my next video is going to be on Cyan Legit Mod um, 7 from JR Player with fully working camera and everything. And uh, if y'all can just write in the comment section below what game y'all want me to do next. Alright, we got a 30.9 frames per second. That's my highest score ever. 30.9. Almost a 31. Alright. Now, like I said, don't leave it too far up. Don't leave your thing too far up. Put it back down to about 1,075. Never mind. Matter of fact, put it at 1,036 just to be safe. Um, anyways, that's Doom Lord's Power to the People, Colonel. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe.